understood how women can be bitter but now I understand fresh out the hospital and it's like you want to go so hard for a bitch that really held you down but you you treat me like shit and you go so hard for bitches who ain't did shit for you if bitches even went through half the shit that I went through, they would not fuck with you, bruh. You are a good, great person. You are a great person. You are a great man. You are loving. But you are like a Gemini and you're not even when you have a scary side, bruh. And I went through that dark and scary side with you, dog. You could have just let me go, fool. And while you sitting here lying, make it seem like you never held on to me, you know you did, dog. You held on to me, fool. I could have went and been with somebody else. Or try to heal and be with somebody else. And then try to make a family. That's somebody who really wants it. That shit is crazy. I, don't, I really don't care how crazy I look on the internet. I love that man. I'm not going to hide that. I don't care if people think I'm embarrassing myself. I was down for him. And I was willing to prove to him that it's whatever. It was never about no fucking money. It was never about nothing. We was building a family. We was... We was... We was like this. I know all your dark secrets, nigga. You know all of mine, bruh. It's fucked up, fool. But I'm glad that you have opened up and you finally are honest with yourself. And you're honest with me about what it really is. You felt sorry for me. I appreciate it. Thank you for telling the truth. Now I can get the fuck up and move the fuck on. I never wanted to raise my son in a single household. I never wanted to raise my son co-parenting. But I will learn to do that. I never wanted my son to possibly have a stepfather. Or see his mom not with his dad. But we don't always get what we plan. So, Bryson, for the last four months, I've been screaming, it's a bitch, 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 it's a bitch. It's a bitch. I should have just read the signs when you were switching up, but <clears throat> I just thought you was just, I don't know. Like, even, you can, you act like this when we're not around, but when we're in each other's faces, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game, fool, but thank you for giving me my son. I hope my son never grows up and see that. I hope my son never grows up. And pulls up that interview. And see that his daddy felt sorry. For his mama. And he didn't want him. For real. I hope my son never sees that. I love you. I love your family. I love your child. Like everything. Like they're mine. I treat everybody like they're mine. But it's all good. I really just hope my son does not see that. Because that is some hurtful ass shit. And I wish you the best. I hope you 
become the biggest star that you want to be. I hope you get all the Grammys. You become this big ass entertainer that you want to be. But I hope one day that you are real with yourself. And you are real with the world. That shit lame. (laughs) Everything I did was out of love. It wasn't for no money. It wasn't for nothing. I don't want no child support from you. I don't want nothing. I did everything by myself. I will keep doing everything by myself. My son don't need for shit. You don't got to pay for his hospital bill, his hospital doctor no more. I will pay for it. I will pay for it. And I will send you back the money that you gave me. I will do this shit by myself. I did this shit out of love. I didn't do this shit out of nothing else. I thought we was going to be a family. If I knew any other thing, I would have never signed up for this shit. So, y'all can drag me. I'm human, bro. He young. He 20 years old. I get it. But that 20-year-old can mind fuck you and make you feel like you are fucking with a 38-year-old. And he know everything and he got it going on. Let him tell it. I don't know shit. And he know it all. And he got to teach me. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in us because we ain't never like this. But maybe it was just time. God sent a lady to me two weeks ago. And she told me to sign there and I should have just took it, you know. But my son sticked on the first time. If he didn't stick, I knew this wasn't meant to be. We had a scare yesterday, but we, we are healthy. My son is the world to me. Me and you. Our family was the world to me. You know that. I'll be a simp. I'll be a delusional, crazy looking ass bitch all over the internet. Y'all can call me whatever. I love that man. I did. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I did all this shit out of love. But I wish you the best. And I'm glad it's ha-ha and jokes why me and the baby's laying up in the hospital and fucking bumfuck nowhere with nobody. I've always been a joke. And I never violated you. I've always been soft with you, and that's my problem. I've, I've been pussy. I've been soft. It's over with, so you don't want to be here. You, you can, we can go to court. You, you can sign your rights over. I don't want no child support from you. I don't want nothing. I just wanted my son to have a father and a family. I really just wish you the best, bro. And, um, God bless you. Hopefully... <clears throat> in the in the fucking future we'll be able to co-parent and talk but <clears throat> in the meantime between time i do this shit by myself i'm cool um i ain't tripping i just really expected more um i played the fool i was cool with playing the fool because i loved you I swallowed a lot of shit, and I took a lot of shit because I loved you, but clearly people scream, love, love, love. I gave you love and loyalty, and you didn't care about none of them, so I don't know what else to give you, my boy, but I'm just over it. I was was very hurt by what you said because that shit capped, but... It is what it is. So. (coughs) 
during this pregnancy. So, um, I'm just, um, I'm really just over it. But it's all good. Mm-hmm.